Well, hello Friday people. I know it's Saturday. Friday was Boxing Day. It just seemed inappropriate. Hope you had a wonderful time with family and friends. I um, esteem lovely presents and I'm sure you got some too. Two lovely cashmere crew top uh, pullovers, a wonderful glass dish for putting cakes on, a lovely tie with a matching uh, uh, cufflinks. So treasured because they were carefully thought out. But you know, the things that go uh, into at your stocking can be just as telling and cost no money. And I love that. So, for example, mysteriously, Father Christmas got me in my stocking a box of tight tea cakes. You cannot believe how evil these things are for me. I can demolish a box of six easily in one sitting. I can demolish a box of 12 in one day between meals. This is not healthy. And and how about this to drive home last night in the almost snow and driving rain, uh, the tr soundtrack to the first probably and best series of Glee, which I didn't have. Uh, <coughs> I think that tells so much about uh, family and friends or the classic infant school tea towel with the boys' names and their own pictures to be kept and uh, treasured, of course. But I tell you, sometimes there's a problem with re-gifting. So, for example, last year I asked my very good friends on the phone, how do you mash your potatoes? I wanted to make sure, before I, I gave them, that they hadn't got one of these, which is a ricer, which makes your mashed potatoes smooth and absolutely lovely. No, we've never heard of such a thing, they said. They love their mash. What do you use? And I said, oh, just a fork. So, of course, they got this for a Christmas present, and I got this. <laughs> I already had one of these. Now, I now have lost my ricer. It's a long story. So, in a kind of honest conversation in the kitchen, they said yesterday, actually, we've never used it, or we've used it once, and it's an awful fuss. Would you like to have it back? And so here I am with a re-gifted present. <laughs> what goes around comes around. And I think that's terrific and I love it, but there are some moral dilemmas. My next door neighbour very kindly brought a bottle of white and a bottle of red for kindnesses he perceived I'd done during the year. It was really no hardship. I've no issues about re-gifting the red because red gives me a headache and a hangover, I uh, just don't understand the stuff. What I can drink far too much of. So there we are. What I'm not showing you down here, of course, and over there, are all the other bits and pieces that also went into my stocking and other presents from other parts of the family. Why not? <laughs> You've guessed. You're ahead of me. Because I might forget, and you never know, this time next year, you'll be wondering, why on earth did I give you this? And where did it first come from? <laughs> Christmas is a time for giving. Next time, we'll talk about New Year and resolutions and things like that. But in the meantime, enjoy this lovely halfway period between Christmas and New Year. We won't even think about the W word yet. Take care. Have a lovely weekend. Bye bye.